everyone, I've got a full face, natural makeup tutorial for you. So this tutorial is my work slash school slash job interview natural but put in some effort look. We're priming the eyes with a Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer then jumping into the palette. This Tartlet in Bloom palette is one of my favorites. Great for a natural or smoky look. We're setting down the primer with Charmer to allow easier application of the following shadows. For the crease, we're sweeping on Jet Setter, a matte neutral brown shade. We're sticking with the matte shadows today. They're less fuss in the morning, at least in my opinion, and with mattes you don't have to worry about shimmery shadow flecks getting everywhere. After placing the crease shade, we're going to blend out the edges. Also, don't worry about being too precise on the outer edges if you apply your eyeshadows first. You can clean it up and carve it out with foundation and concealer later. For all over the lid, we're applying the shade Smarty Pants, very similar to Jet Setter, just a hair lighter. To add shape to the outer corners, we're applying Rebel, one of my favorite shades in the palette. It's a gorgeous warm brown. With the same shade we used to set down the eyeshadow primer, Charmer, we're applying it with a heavier hand underneath the brow bone to highlight. Putting lighter shades on the brow will make the brow bone look more pronounced and lifted. Then because I felt my crease shade was a bit too high, I grabbed Flower Child and placed some in the place between the crease and the brow bone highlight. A nice little trick if you need to tone down the crease. Flower Child also makes for a good inner corner brightener to open up the eye. More blending. It's easier if you blend between steps versus trying to do it all at the end. Trust me. If you feel you need to deepen the outer corner like I did, then go for it. There are no rules. Follow your instincts. We're applying some CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Eyeliner. This has been a go-to brown eyeliner for me. It's easy to apply, the color payoff is great, and it's affordable. To soften the eyeliner, we're grabbing a flat topped brush and placing Rebel on top of the liner. Short pressing and flicking motions make it easy. For the face, we're grabbing Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This is a wonderful hydrating primer. Being in a building without a lot of natural air circulation can really dry out your skin. So this, plus wearing moisturizer underneath, can help prevent your foundation from cracking. Makeup Forever's Ultra HD foundation is one of my faves for long wear with a natural finish. It also gives really great medium coverage, which I like. It can be built to full coverage if that's more of your preference. I'm applying the shade R260 and using an EcoTools sponge to bounce it onto my skin. I talked about this sponge in last month's favorites video. I believe it was last month's favorites video. Check it out. Now when you have nights where you don't get a lot of sleep or just naturally have dark circles and under eye brightener, like this one from Urban Decay will really help. Since I'm fair, I like using the pink color correcting fluid, but if you have a deeper complexion, you might want to try a peach, orange, or a red tone color corrector to brighten dark circles. Since I used a lot of Urban Decay's color correcting fluid, I grabbed a lightweight concealer. 
Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer is what I carry in my purse for minor touch-ups, which you may have seen in my what's in my bag video. It's extremely blendable and more on the liquidy side, formula-wise. I think it's a great starter concealer because it takes a lot to make it look cakey. So those just getting into makeup can accidentally use a heavier hand and it won't look like too much. Sticking with the Fit Me trend, we're setting down the liquids with Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder in 120 Classic Ivory. I used this a lot more when I was oily, but I still bring it out every once in a while because it isn't too heavy and doesn't make me feel dried out even if I'm not oily. Putting powder on over your liquids helps prevent creasing, keeps your makeup on longer, and creates a smoother base for things like bronzer and blush. I've been playing around with when I apply my brow products. Usually I fill in my brows as my first step, but I'm trying something different. When do you guys fill in your brows? This BH Flawless Brow Trio is so good. The powder smooths out with ease, and their spoolie brush works well too. It isn't scratchy like some spoolies can be. To set the brows in place, we're using Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This will make your brows feel a little stiff, but the hairs won't be flying all over the place. We're focusing back on the eyes before finishing off the face. For the waterline, we're lining with Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Liner in Nude. You'll see me use this time and time again in the waterline to brighten. Then we're just grabbing Jet Setter and Smarty Pants and smudging some on the lower lash line to tie everything together. This is a much easier method than taking the brown liner down there. It's a lot softer and takes less time. Also, see how the foundation cut the outer corner of the eyeshadow? It's not as messy looking. For the last step, we're extending Flower Child down from the inner corner of the eye. And to warm up the complexion, we're grabbing some NARS Bronzing Powder in Laguna on a big fluffy brush. This works great on fair and light complexions. My favorite light pink shimmery blush. This is Becca Cosmetics Mineral Blush in Flower Child, another Flower Child name. I find that Becca blushes last a long time on the skin. We're focusing it on the apples of the cheeks and blending back. I'm using a lot of favorites in this tutorial. I mentioned this lovely product in my highlighter collection video. It's a wonderful natural highlight that still has a shine. The highlight won't blind the people in your workplace, but it will still give you that beautiful glow. Place it anywhere you want to accentuate. And we're almost done with this full face natural but product plenty tutorial. We're curling the lashes and really locking everything down with Milani's Make It Last setting spray. For mascara, we're using CoverGirl's Total Tease Mascara. I never used to use rubber bristle wands, but they've grown on me. You could totally use brown mascara with this look too. Since my lips are super dry, what else is new? I grabbed a more hydrating lipstick. We're staying neutral with Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipstick in Beach Babe. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It is good to be back. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in Sunday's video. Bye everyone.